Hello, uh, welcome to my screen recording session. I'm going to be showing you how to install Windows 7 on a Mac. I'm running Mac OS X 10.8.2 as you can uh, see from here. It's 10.8.2 and I have sufficient RAM. That's 8 gigs of uh, memory. Uh, even 4 gigs of memory works just fine. I don't know about 2 because I haven't really try doing that on two so the things you need you need sufficient memory because if you install another operating system here yeah, remember you already have OS X so it's definitely going to drain your memory resource so you need at least four gigs of RAM I think two can work as well but I think four would be fine to start with so you don't have really a laggy system and all that kind of stuff now another thing that you also need you need VMware Fusion which you can download from the website you have to install it onto your system I already have VMware Fusion installed that's one of the things you need for you to install uh, Windows 7 or even Linux but uh, you can also use bootcamp but I prefer VMware Fusion because with VMware I can run both Windows and uh, and the and the Mac OS X together. I can just basically copy files from here to there and open this and just like I'm using, just like I'm working on some other window, not like I'm running a different operating system. So it's really good with VMware. But with Bootcamp, you either use Windows or you use Mac OS X. So I think it really limits you if you want just to switch just not really even switch when you just want to work with both operating systems at the same time so I would recommend that uh, you get VMware Fusion and install it onto the system uh, you also need a, an ISO file for Windows 7 which I have mine here luckily let me drag it here to the center I have Windows 7 should be ISO file maybe there are other file formats that work as well but uh, what I'm gonna tell you right now is that uh, if you use the IIS uh, it's quite safe for me here and you see how easy it is to install using it uh, then what you do you launch your VMware Fusion you launch it uh, I already have Windows 7 installed but I'm gonna install another version just to show you how you can run this so my best method of doing this is I right click here on my VM and I open the virtual machine library so when you're here you just click add i'm adding a new operating system it tells you continue without disk because i'm not using a disk so the system detects that there is no disk actually in the drive so it just says continue without disk click that choose the first radio here and it says choose a disk or disk image click that and click on it again it drops up that so you go wherever you have put your Windows 7 ISO file. Uh, mine is on the desktop and it's here. So I'll click on it and open. Now when it opens, I continue, just as simple as that. And the operating system is Windows, it's, no, it's definitely Microsoft Windows and the version is Windows 7. Continue, as simple as that. If you want to customize this, no problem. Now I have one gig and 60, 60 gigs of uh, this space and one gig of RAM. I think this can do any customization. I think I'll be making a video later on to see how you can customize, meaning you increase the RAM or decrease the RAM, you increase the, you know, the disk space and all that. And you just click finish. And here you definitely drops up that and you can save it. Uh, I don't need to change this. So that is it. So what do you do? It lights up itself and let's see it may take a while and we shall jump other things but as you see windows is loading files so let's sit and wait as it loads files uh, speed is up and i think it will be pretty good so that's how simple it is nothing much really so it will go and go on just the normal procedures that you follow when you're installing windows on your pc um, so you see it lights it up as you can see the that is the old one which is already installed it's here you can you can let me resume it and you see this is the old one and it appears that other virtual machines are running
so maybe I have to cancel this one it's refusing to run it so this one will definitely take some time but as you can see the setup is is starting on setup is starting so it goes through the normal procedures and I'm gonna stop recording right now and I'll just come back when when it's going towards the end when the installation is almost over but the most important parts are the introduction and the last bits which we shall look at later on so I'll stop recording for a while let me pause it okay let's go on so there next that's the installation so this is what's happening now so it's gonna copy all the files and it's gonna continue installing windows until towards the last bits of it and we shall see what else so i'm gonna stop recording for now i thought uh, i would stop previously but let me stop here and and i'll forward it I'll, I'll push it in front and you see how the installation goes but for now you can see it's just running so smoothly so let me i'm resuming and you can see windows needs to restart to continue so these are one of the last moments of it uh, so it's restarting uh, pretty nice right there uh, it's just simple simple stuff right there so you can check it out so there you have it windows 7 ultimate windows 7 ultimate there you have it uh, so that's our desktop for the very first time after the installation setting up the networks the other things that you can do later on so this is our windows as simple as that so i think it's really cool to to do that so you check on this later on i'm gonna be showing you how to how to uh synchronize like to make it really easy for you to to just pick stuff from the desktop here on your Mac OS X and just drop it here on Windows like I normally do on this one so you can find that there are two of them here but they're the same thing so I'm just gonna have to not only suspend this but uh, I'm just gonna delete it after the suspension so it's suspended now so I think I can delete it there's completely no use for it because I have a copy here of windows so thank you for watching uh, this video was sponsored by the manga times and i think uh, i can throw them some props here if you can be watching check out the manga times <laughs>